YouTube is your boy OG Kimmy and today Alright and today I'm gonna be watching why Cardi B will never get respect by Hello Yassy Extras. I reacted to one of his videos as well. I'll make sure this time since I was on my A about me having the link to the video video and how I'll be using people's stuff. I'll be like, damn, you you see me shout out the channel? Eh? Damn, man, chill out. But yeah, chill out, chill out. <clears throat> but I'm gonna put the link down there too and I'm gonna put reacting to why since since what well, was always always on my my dick. Like damn, Ch -ch chill out, buddy. Chill out, buddy. It's nothing serious. Nothing. Let me stop. <laughs> but um, without that being said, let's get to the video. What's pop, y'all? This should put to oh, rest any the, type of convert. If y'all hear something in the background, that's my fan. It is hot as hell in this room. But yeah, let me restart. And get back. What's pop, y'all? This mm -hmm. should put to rest any type of conversation, which I already don't see much of, in that Cardi B being. Mm. compared as a rapper to any other female rapper hell ever yeah. maybe yeah i'd say ever maybe lauren hill people will say oh she disappeared for 20 plus years but she was with the fuji's dropped a couple albums and dropped the classic album mm -hmm. that there were no writers on well, with cardi b she came out and said the following someone said it's time for her to pull back from social media platforms her engagement with fans is unappreciated Transparency backfires because of her fans' weirdo entitlement. Cardi doesn't have to interact with them. She chooses to, and it's never a bunch of comments, which is usually right. At the scale of message that Cardi B can send to all of these people, they're also a bit unwell. It's going to result in her being stressed out, and she's one of those people that feels like she needs to clap back, which is one of those qualities that I think people appreciate about her. She hasn't changed much if at all from when she initially got popular and this is where i will give her credit a lot of rappers they're like yo you guys switch up these guys start making some money they start wearing zesty stuff like they were born in france or something like that and we're always into this quote-unquote high fashion meanwhile cardi b i wouldn't say identical obviously she's probably gotten like a bunch of work done since then and beautified herself and bought nice things but personality wise pretty much identical and she says exactly and i tell myself this all the time and i hate that i fall back and start interacting again and it bites me in the ass anyway no album this year i don't care i'm relaxing this year dropping these features i already committed to and traveling and enjoying my summer take a look at this the last album by cardi b which was a Grammy winning album, mind you, every single time I will bring this up. She beat Mac Miller Swimming, mm. Pusha T's album with the Whitney Houston cover. Mm. And I can't believe I'm forgetting that album. Oh, what is that album? I always forget that album title. It was Daytona. Daytona, yes. Mm. It's just, when I think Daytona, I think of NASCAR and I think of racing. And when I see the album cover, because that's the first thing I envision with the Pusha T song, I see the Whitney Houston and the... Was it Whitney Houston? Yo, I'm tweaking out right now. Whatever. I see the bathroom. And bathroom and Daytona don't go together in my mind. So I tend to forget it a lot. Nipsey Hussle's album. Mm. And Travis Scott's Astroworld. Mm. She beat all of those for Grammy. W. She. she Y'all got to give her her respect on that. Y'all got to give her, her her credit on that. Insane, right? But even more insane than that, this was in 2018, 
that she dropped that album mm. <clears throat> six years later no album oh six mm. years what rapper drops their debut album and goes away for six years people go at kendrick lamar for dipping for what five years after he had already dropped a bunch of tapes multiple classic albums hit songs all of that cardi b has dropped one album and people have the nerve to compare it to Nicki minaj you can't compare no. it to Nicki minaj no. you cannot compare her to megan the stallion no. you can't compare her to damn flo millie oh. because they're all dropping more than her and they're actually i don't know about all of them most well, of them no. are rapping yeah. their own raps cardi b even said she doesn't even rap her own raps and i think cardi b is mm. i wouldn't say flopping yeah. but yeah, her recent singles good, have not performed well she's dropped a couple of singles and i think that might be part of the reason Number one, she dropped a single collaboration with Shakira recently, Who? which has like 37 million. This is more of an international song. Shakira's on it. Oh, we okay. know what they're aiming for there. But she dropped the song Enough, which did 35 million streams. This was dropped in March, March 20th. So two months ago, 35 million streams. The... Can we just take, can we just take a second to recognize that this motherfucker look good? <clears throat> Damn, Cardi. Damn, Cordy, why you look so fucking good, mama? Damn, damn, damn. All right, back. Let me stop being horny. Let me go back to the... It didn't really chart. This wasn't a hit song. I mean, it did okay, streams. She yeah. also dropped Like What. I think that was the song that was very, 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 very similar to Ski Master Slump God's mm. flow on his song. I think it was Catch Me Outside. It's the one where the music video clip is him in New York City, Times Square. That was in March 2nd. So she dropped two singles in March. None of them stayed on the charts. I think they probably hit the charts. So that's two singles that didn't do too hot. 2023, I think she had one yeah. single that did well with... Who was it? Was it... It wasn't Glorilla. Nah, she didn't have a song with Ice Spice. So who was it? Was it with Lotto? That song was okay. And remember that flop of a song in 2022? The Cardi B, Lil Durk, and Kanye West <laughs> song? They I thought they had heard, one with that. I ain't even heard of it. It just now. didn't do. It just didn't do well. It's almost at a hundred million streams, but you got to think, Dirk, Yay, and Cardi B. Dirk's gotten songs with a hundred million himself after mm. that, and that's another thing that should be slightly worrying, is that Bongos. That's another song that Cardi mm -hmm. B and Megan The Stallion mm -hmm. were on together. That got 94, 95 million streams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can mm -hmm. say safely that. Lil Durk is a smaller artist, smaller act than Cardi B, right? Can we agree on that? I would like to hear a yes from the crowd. Yes, yep. we can agree on that. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to argue that. Lil Durk had a song after the one that he did with Cardi B that has multiple hundreds of millions, which is All My Life with J. Cole. That is 326 million. And that was after. And to keep in mind, you're going to say, oh, yeah, this had J. Cole. This is a fire song. It was a hit. It was with J. Cole. The other song had Cardi B and Kanye West. Stack lineup. Yet it didn't even crack 100 million streams. Mm. Meanwhile, Dirk, lead act of that song, and he did a lot on that song. Like, the hook is him. We have to give him credit on that. Did more than three times that. So Cardi B hasn't been performing too well in the music that she releases. At least to the standard that we have of her. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. And I think that's partially why the album's being delayed although i think she just has a lot of power in her deal in the sense that they're just following her time she's such a big brand she's so strong as a feature like i said and i gave her credit for this a while back she decided to be a mother instead of trying to chase the money and going on tour and people were saying oh this pregnancy is going to ruin her career it's going to derail her that didn't happen but being away for six years you don't really love this game. Yeah. You don't really love this game. You don't really love rapping. I don't think you really love making music to be able to dip for this long. It's kind of like a business thing, which I don't have any problem with. But that means it takes her out of the consideration for actual rappers that are really hungry, like mm -hmm. Lotto, for instance. Even Coil Ray dr drops more than Cardi B. God damn, Cardi, you letting... Oh, hey, Lil Ray dropped more than you? And I ain't even hear nothing good from her for the for this whole time that I've been doing these reactions. For the whole time I've been doing YouTube for real. I haven't heard much from her. That is... Cardi, you gotta do better, baby. You gotta do better. Other female act 
works harder than Cardi B when it comes to dropping music and being consistent in the game. I will say it's a good lesson in that timing is really important because Cardi B came out at the right time and she had the right music for that time and they amplified her very, very well. Atlantic put a lot of money behind her. And that's partially the reason for why she's at where she's at. That's not to take away from the effort that she put in. As a musician, as a rapper, I don't really have much respect for her because I don't really know what she does in the music process. But I will say as a hustler, she really put in the work. Mm. She was dropping tape. Actually, mm. I'll give her credit prior to Invasion of Privacy. She was dropping mm. tapes herself. At that point, I don't really think she had writers like that. She was dropping tapes herself. She was promoting herself. Mm. She was all over social media. Mm. And she was doing all these shows too and appearances mm. before she got married and had kids. Mm. So that's something that we have to put respect on. But top rappers or rappers in general, there's a reason why we can be honest and say, hey, we can't really show her that much respect. And to say otherwise, I feel like is not only disingenuous, but it's, it's borderline standing a little bit. That's it for the video. But um, <clears throat> my opinion, Cardi ain't been doing what she's supposed to. You know, she ain't been dropping ass consistently, like he said. Six years? Damn. At that point, you might as well just... just Goddamn. Just, 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 so you don't fuck, fuck with making music no more at that point. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure to go check out my boy Tim. Um, Now, let's see. Let's see. Cardi B raps like she reading her lyrics from a piece of paper, but at a fifth grade <laughs> level. Oh, no. Nah, Y'all disrespectful. They start wearing zesty stuff like they're born from France or something. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He had me dead on that one. Her ass Adam was technically her first. That's something I need to take into consideration. That's crazy. He might be right about that. He might be right about that. But, um, yeah. This boy OGT main. And signing out. You dig?